Hi there. In this video we will be changing the oil and obviously oil filter in my wife's Volkswagen Lupo. It's the 1.4 16 valve uh, petrol engine. So this is the oil that I choose for uh, this oil change and this is the, the filter. Hopefully it's the good one and uh, let's get to it. First of all, sorry about the wind, nothing that I can do about it. I will use this pump to change the oil through the dipstick uh, tube right there. And for the filter this might be needed or might not, we will see. Not really sure about it. But anyway, first thing I need to take out this cover right here. In theory we have four screws and then this cover right here and this will be hot because I left the engine to heat up at about 60 degrees so the oil is uh, more fluid because our oil filter is down there somewhere and uh, there isn't much room uh, under this car to, to get to it so let me remove this first the four screws are out with an uh, H5 Allen key so now this is free to be removed and we have access to this screw right in the middle and this screw to take off this uh, big cover hopefully these two screws are out 10 millimeter uh, hexagonal key and there's another screw somewhere down there but i can reach it through here without uh, issues just make sure it's there just make sure your engine is not too hot because you will burn yourself Mine is barely hot. And it's out. Wasn't that much fun getting it out, but I have much more room for the filter as you can see it now to get it out of there. Trying to get the filter out. I think that's a 28 millimeter or something like that. I will show you in a moment when I get it out. But the idiots that put this filter in tightened it extremely tight these things don't need to be extremely tight because you cannot bloody get them off later so idiots giving me work now so the 27 millimeter started slipping tried to use this didn't have enough room and now i'm getting it out with this and the mechanic that tightened it is an effing monkey and if you ever have to deal with such a mechanic that over tightens everything give that shop a bad review and don't go there anymore because why would something work this is too thick for this as you can see so i need to somehow add this little bit of silicone tube to, to put it in there this is in about the same length of the dipstick probably about this more so in theory it's at the max it's not going in anymore have that right there for the old oil and now just connect this to the battery and for the best and the filter is not removed i just loosened it up to make sure that i can actually get it off when i need to but first i'm getting the oil out and only then removing this fully and as you can see it's coming out quite slowly until it will uh, go in the pump after it will get in the pump it will go faster needed to change the hose because the other one was too thin and this is barely at the limit but seems to be moving faster and we are finally moving some oil and it's dark really dark i will start to change it much more uh, often if i do it at home like this by myself finally took out the old filter so here we have the oil plus i think about 400 milliliters or something like that the manufacturer of this one claims that enters the filter itself so that plus that should be about 3.2 liters although i'm sure that something remains in the motor if you need the code this is what was in there uh, you can see some values here how much you need to tighten it and honestly you tighten it uh, by hand 
don't overdo it. But yeah, I will actually not only tighten by hand, I will also use this, which is a 30 millimeter. This one has a bigger, uh, this at the end, not. But anyway, let's put some of this oil all around here for it to, to tighten easier in place. Tighten by hand as much as I can and then with this, but don't over tighten it or you will uh, curse it yourself when you need to change it once again. So yeah, that's about it. On the thread just a tiny bit, let's put it in there. If you need the codes on my replacement, these are the codes, hopefully enough for you. And yeah, at this point, uh, down there, as you can see, a lot of oil uh, has gone uh, on the floor, on the, on the this, <laughs> on the ground. So for me, it's not important. But if you are doing this where it, uh, it matters to you, use a tray or something underneath when you pull the filter, because as you can see, it's like this. So when you pull it out, we, it will flow from it. Nothing that you can do about it. As you can see, tightening in place by hand as much as I can until it actually reaches. Now tighten a bit more. You can actually tighten it by hand quite a lot. As you could see, you only need to tighten it about 20 Newton meters, which is at one meter about two kilos. So it's not a lot at all. And now with this, but only a tiny bit, but could be, yeah, we need to switch it to tightening. I might not be able to film this because there is not a lot of room in here, but hopefully you can see something. I don't want to overdo it because then I will be back in the same situation that the stupid uh, guy from uh, the shop did it over tightening. They over tighten it so much that they basically, okay, that's about it, uh, left marks uh, on camera, focus today, they left marks on this thing right here. So they did over tighten a lot from the start. Now it's done and it's good. And it's done, pull this out clean the dipstick because I put it on the ground, put the dipstick back in and then start filling because of the bad wind conditions. As you can see I put some oil where it shouldn't be on the engine. I will wipe it at the end. Don't put too much from the start. Check the dipstick from time to time to make sure you don't need to take some out. check the dipstick I already did but now I'm also showing you you can see it's full but keep in mind something there's air in that so I will start the engine put this cap back on start the engine run it just for a minute or something like that until that filter fills with oil and then recheck this after I run the engine for a minute, I will let it sit so the oil goes back into its position. Just wanted to mention if you need to pull out this connector and the one below. For this one, you have a clip right here that you press and it comes out. And the one below has camera focus, two metal springs on the sides. You pinch them and pull it out. But be careful, this is really, really, really hot. This is back in position, screws tightened in place, two of them in here, again 10 millimeter, one of them down there, and remember to attach this back, well, actually, it fell off, it has something that was clipped in there, and this would attach to it, and it fell off somewhere, so I need to search for it, be back in a second. 
this thing fell off so I need to put it back in position and attach it down there if my camera would actually focus on something okay all good we are clipped black back in place but it's impossible to film anything in here anyway important thing this is not going anywhere if you are wondering how much oil we managed to get out this is how much i managed to put in so about 0 0.2 uh, still remained 0.2 liters still remained in the engine which is almost nothing in my opinion so this method of changing the oil works and we are done uh, put back the cover with four screws I will recheck the level if the level is good we are finished and separate video for changing the filters and resetting the dash computer Okay, hopefully you can see where it is. So the level is perfect. We are finished with the oil change. Put in the dipstick and done. So, hope this video helps you. In which case, please give it a like. Check out my other videos and as always, see you in the next one. Bye.